Hello. Do you like movies? Well, do you? Do you like movies with spiritual themes? Hmm? Do you? Well, if you do, you have come to the right place. Ah. Yes, here are ten fantastic spiritual movies for your viewing delight. Here we go. Number ten, Akang Afu Apanda. Yeah, this film is absolutely top notch. Beautiful CGI, appealing characters. It's a bit childish, but it actually has a spiritual message at its core, which is to learn to love yourself. And this is very important, because if you can love yourself, you can love life. Okay, coming in at number nine, Three Idiots by the famous Bollywood director Amir Khan. This is a monumental film. It uh, takes you on a journey of a lifetime um, as you accompany three young men getting to grips with life and the message is simply beautiful. All is well. Surrender. Go with the flow and everything will turn out perfecto. This is an amazing film. And if you get to watch it, because it may be difficult to get your hands on in the West, it will really inspire you and uplift you. So check it out. Now, number eight, Teorema, or as it's called in English, Theorem. A controversial film by the even more controversial director, Pier Paolo Pasolini, eh. and uh, this film is simply mind blowing in its originality and uh, very striking indeed. And the plot is simply genius. It's about a young man played by Terence Stamp, the limey, who enters into a rich Milanese household. I think it's Milano. Maybe I'm wrong and uh, basically screws the whole family, to put it bluntly, changing their lives forever. He's kind of a Buddha, this guy. He makes sweet love to them and they all change. One of them becomes uh, catatonic, somewhat unfortunate there. The other one becomes a mystic. The other one throws away all his money. Uh, the other one becomes a bit of a slapper. The other one becomes a great artist. So it's a fascinating film, fascinating and doody woody. Suggest you check it out. Check it out? I mean, check it out. Um, this is all unscripted. Okay, going with the flow, you see? Alice Vell. Okay, uh, ooh. where were we? Number seven Spring, Summer, Fall, Winter, Spring. This is a beautiful Korean film, South Korean, obviously. Uh, and it is, um, you can tell it's South Korean because it's not about Kim Il Jong. <laughs> um, yeah, it's about uh, a Zen monk, I think, and his young disciple. And it follows this young lad's path through life, you know what I mean? As he grows older, the four stages of his existence how he changes, how he matures, how he grows, and how finally he attains enlightenment. And it's a great film. Very cinematic, beautiful. Lovely colours. Yes, very enjoyable. Suggest you check it out. Number six, El Topo. This is a, quite frankly, insane film, but amazing, by the Chilean director Alejandro Khodorovsky. This guy is one of a kind. He's a real eccentric. I love this guy. I think he's, uh, we need more people like him. Maniacs. Creative maniacs. This film will blow your socks off. I mean, in terms of originality, it's unequaled. And what can I say? I mean, it's the concept is amazing. It's an Eastern Western. Yes, it's an Eastern Western. It's a noodle Western. 
I just invented that. How good is that? Yeah, noodle western, you see? Spaghetti western? Yes, we got it. Alright, alright, calm down. Um, basically, yeah, the film is an eastern western, so it's about a cowboy who has to go around the desert, the badlands, killing people for spiritual knowledge. It's pretty awesome. And there's a scene in it that I'll always remember. When he kills this one dude, this is a spoiler by the way, kills this one guy, and the guy just doesn't give a shit. He just says, couldn't care less, man. It's powerful. I didn't make it sound particularly powerful, but trust me, it is. You'll enjoy it. Just watch it. Um, film number 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 one five cinco cinq cinque vijf film. Go. Anyway, um, yeah, this film is really cool. It is called Francesco Giulare de Dio. Francis God's Jester. This is uh, another Italian film by Rossellini. Beautiful, beautiful film. It is simply charming. It's so unpretentious, so clear, so simple, so moving in its details, in its simplicity. It's about St. Francis, obviously. And the film itself just exudes humility. It's a fancy word. Two fancy words. Um, this film is not fancy. That's what's so charming about it. It's so unpretentious, it's so natural, it's so graceful. It's And there are some scenes that are just simply so beautiful. It makes one's heart weep. Now, honestly, Jokes aside, this is a top-notch film. You really must watch it. It really had a profound impact on me. It engraved itself in my brain. In a good way. Um, numero foro. Foro. Yeah, I speak Spanish. Foro. <laughs> Number four. The Fountain. By Aronofsky. Darren Aronofsky. This film is awesome. I mean, this film had tears rolling down my cheeks. I'm not an overly sentimental chap. No, this film was amazing. Um, Rachel Weisz, great performance. Hugh Jackman, great performance. Three stories beautifully interwoven together. Pure philosophy, pure existentialism. It's about surrender and resistance. The whole meaning of life, the whole thing. And it's just... It's such an experience. It sucks you in. It's pretty heavy, to be honest. It's one of the films you want to watch once every few years. It's not for the light-hearted, but very good. Um, where are we now? Oh yes, number three, Brother, Son, Sister, Moon. When I saw this film, I was learning to surrender to God or life, and this film really helped me in that because it's all about surrendering to God um, or life whatever you want to call it just being open letting life flow through you and trusting and enjoying yourself and you know a lot of people see spiritual people as ascetics who suffered hardships but it's not true Francis was a truly joyful man he spread joy wherever he went he was so full of joy that he didn't need clothes it's not that he was you know looking for suffering is that he was so full of happiness and this film really conveys that it's a very happy film just full of joy it's quite a hippie film as well that's not a bad thing i love it i love hippies 70s was a great decade late 60s yeah so yeah really should watch this film it's by franco de Frelli, eh? uh, another great italian director um Sorry for the impression, I, I get carried away sometimes, you know what I mean? I get carried away, mate, because my name's Captain Jack Sparrow. Saving, carried away. Right, saving, no, never mind. Never mind, mate. I think I deserve that one, though. No. Right, let's move on. Right, what's the number two? I've forgotten. Pass me the rum, mate. No, stop it, Johnny. You're getting on my nerves now. 
Hey, look at these guys. Look at these two guys. Hey, hey, look at this guy. Hey, this Arnold Schwarzenegger here. Look at this guy. Hey, hey, yo. Look at the size of your man. Look at you. You're breaking the fucking chair. Ah, how dare you? How dare you? Ah, guys, guys, guys. We've got to go back to the film now. They, they just need a few glasses of rum, mate. You know what I'm saying? Whoa! Where the hell was I? Yeah, so number two. Um, that's worrying. Uh, Gospel of St. Matthew. Bellissimo. Another Italian film. What is it with Italians? They're just so talented when it comes to making films. Gospel of St. Matthew, this is awesome. I mean, I've never been in... I mean, I had reverberations of spiritual inspiration shivers down my spine you know when I was watching this uh, I'm not a particularly uh, esoteric chap you know uh, I don't you know but you know I don't particularly believe in chakras and Kundalini but to be honest when I was watching this film the pressure here on my third eye or whatever it is was immense it was like someone was nailing a bloody nail into my forehead you know pneumatic drill spirituality is in the tape in the reel of that film. You must watch it. I can't really say anything more about it, just watch it. Number one, my favorite spiritual film of all time, probably my favorite film of all time, Zorba the Greek, wow, with Anthony Quinn. This film is simply increíble in Spanish. Incredible. Incredible. Uh, it's just the character, Zorba, that's what sells it. He is the epitome, in my opinion, of enlightenment, of the enlightened man, of the free, complete human being. And he's so charismatic, you can't help but love him. Even in the first scene, you're already smiling when you see his cheeky grin. This guy, his charisma is so infectious, it just comes through the lens and envelops you in his crazy dance. Makes you want to go to Greece and just get wasted on red wine. On the beach. Mm. Yeah, no, no, this guy, Zorba. Top notch. Evaristos. <laughs> Fucking awesome. Okay, guys. Those are my top ten spiritual films. I hope you enjoyed me and my presentation. I did not cut or edit this video. I am against cutting and editing in general. I believe we must go with the flow. It's much more interesting, much more human. It's much more enjoyable for me as well because I don't have to do anything now. I just upload it straight away. Ah! Okay guys, hope you enjoyed this. And uh, take care now. So take care. Or I'm gonna cut on your house. And I'm gonna blow your fucking head off. That's my Tony Montana. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Just give me time. Give me time. Okay, thanks guys. Take it easy. Bye. 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 Bye.